We get the questions, so do the governor. County executives, when will places of worship be able to reopen? The governor has created an interfaith advisory council to help the state develop a plan for this. News Channel 9's Jennifer Sanders sat down with some local clergy on the council. parking lots set the stage for a new scene at churches in New York. This week, Governor Andrew Cuomo making it clear drive-in and parking lot services, along with religious gatherings with no more than 10 people, are now allowed across the state. I myself, you know, already have 10 people in service just to do an online worship experience. And so you're hearing uh, towards government a lot of pushback about the 10. How do we get that to go up a little bit more gradually? Pastors Darren Jaime, Max Jones, Phil Turner, and and nearly 55 other faith leaders are now tasked by the governor to meet and develop proposals to bring back religious services. One of my suggestions to the governor is that provide our churches with sanitizer, provide our churches with masks, so that we will have that on hand. There's an even deeper issue at churches located in marginalized communities, which are typically densely populated areas. Black and brown people are being infected at a much higher rate than other populations. So this means it is key to have education on testing, tracing, as well as community spread. We're also dealing with uh, a significant number of pre-existing conditions. Mm. And so we are even at the start, we're not going to be able to herd everybody into the church. Uh, uh, it's going to have to be done in phases. So they'll examine the sanitization process between worship services, as well as safety of church nurseries and other programs, and different entry and exit points for parishioners. Churches are unique all by themselves, and so it requires a different set of eyes and a different set of circumstances. And so that's what this council is going to be able to do uh, to be able to address those needs in specific. In Syracuse, Jennifer Sanders, News Channel 9. The Interfaith Advisory Council will meet over the next few weeks to develop plans for reopening places of worship at a safe capacity.